So to start making your wing, the first thing we need to do is draw the base, which will, which will go all the way up here initially. And then we'll draw the feathers in, overlapping as they are. Some of them will be overlapping. <coughs> and so take a piece of paper, just copy a paper, and begin by finding something circular and put it towards the lower the lower left hand corner and then draw around it just one second to get a pencil so just draw around it so we're aiming to make something that looks a bit like this ignore that bit I cut that off eventually but so from here, start start at the base of your circle. So put a line down the centre. We'll do two lines. And so from the base, sort of draw. You want to let's mark where we want our wing to end. So we want it to go in an upward curve like this. So let's put a little dot there, so we know that's where we need to go and we're going to give it a bit of a a shape like is that an S curve at the top so at the bottom just draw it we've already done that wrong so draw it upwards like that and then from here, it needs to go like that, so it's slightly higher. So that's the basic wing shape, which is similar to this one, although a bit different. This one's a bit thicker in the middle. So once you've done that, you can you can change the shape actually. So I want mine to be a bit thicker at the base here. So I'm drawing it out a bit more. And if I can find my rubber. Which obviously I can because I need it. Um, okay, so I'll have to use a little rubber. Let's have a look in here. Oh, there's a, some putty which I can use as a rubber. So you can remove your your inner circle now, and you should just be left with the shape of your wing. a bit thicker like that now let me show you something so next we have to draw in some feathers and if you look at a real bird's wing you can see at the tip it has these long feathers which look like that and then smaller feathers here and small feathers here all the way up and that's what we want to draw okay so so we want the first the longest set of feathers to come to around this point you look at my wing they around they I go from here to here 
they're quite long. So if you draw them like this with a curve, and then offset, overlap them slightly, and draw another one. Can you see that? And then I'll set it again and draw it up. So we're basically making the same thing as this, what it looks like underneath. So it's all offset. So just take your time and draw these in. And then eventually we'll choose one, we'll choose the top one and we'll make that one our template. So yeah. And now we want to draw our second level of feathers, which are here. Which is, I'm calling them secondaries, but they're not. So they're gonna go around here. I'm sort of pretending they're secondary feathers. And on our real wing, they go here. So they'll overlap the primaries. So we want to start them sort of here, here, and now we'll place them on a diagonal. So they'll be smaller than the than the primaries and I make mine with a slight like dip as well but you don't have to do that. So for every one primary you probably need to make two secondaries. So yeah follow make a line across here and make sure they line up. So with the, you only need to draw the top edge of the first one and then it's just the bottom edge of the, of the subsequent ones. Just making sure they cover the tops. So mine have got shorter as I've gone down. So I'll lengthen them a bit. We're only going to choose one of these to make into a template, probably the topmost one. So this is just sort of a practice drawing. Put another one here under here. Okay, just rub these out a bit so you can see this. more clearly so you don't it doesn't have to be neat at this stage it's just a guide so next we're going to make these feathers so these ones So maybe these should have been a bit longer. I've got a feeling that these are too far back. I have to start this again. Have to start it again. I can just lengthen them. Actually. Okay. So I decided to start again. And I made myself a guide um, in order to place the feathers using one of my early sort of prototypes that I made, which was, is a bit smaller than this, so it's easier for me to draw on the guide. So, once again, we're drawing some long primary feathers and some shorter secondary feathers, and then these smaller coverts. In total, We'll have four different shapes and lengths of feathers. 
This is what I did earlier and it became a bit messy so I thought if I did the guides then it would be easier. So remember that this is where the second feathers come up to, the secondary feathers. But the primaries actually go underneath them so if we draw those in first from about here so these two are this is a double row of the same feather so I'll put the name in there covert this is the primary this is secondary. If you can read my handwriting. And then some smaller feathers will go up here. These are really tiny. So that looks a bit messy. If you draw quite lightly, that will be good because we need to we need to erase some of this eventually. So we're going to create one, use one of these as a template. So shape it as you want it. Put a slight curve and darken it. Choose one from the next level down and darken it. And choose another one of these coverts. This is that's a primary covert. This is a secondary covert. I can barely read my writing, so apologies. <laughs> okay, so like that. We don't need to do that one because it's the same, and we'll just take this one. So now If you get a pen, get a black pen, any black pen will do. So many pens. Okay, that one. It's a pit pen. I think it's a pit pen. Yes. It's quite it's got quite a thick nib, which I've actually destroyed a bit, but now. Draw in your primary feather in black and fill it in. I'll do that fully in a minute with a thicker pen. Just want to draw them in first. These can be blunter, they, don't, they shouldn't be as long. Should be a bit more tear shaped, really, drop shaped, and not sort of long and curved, obviously, like that one or this one. Okay, so those are four feathers, which we're gonna get a thicker pen. I think I've got another Posca pen paint. Paint pen. So I'm just going to fill this in, try not to go over the lines. So I'm going to leave this to dry and then I'm going to um, erase everything else on the page as much as possible then I'm going to scan it and open the JPEG in my silhouette software okay so see you in a bit so I started by opening my scanned image into um, Photoshop or any other photo editing software 
after erasing most of the lines, the pencil lines from the drawing. So this is the scan, or you can take a photo of it on your phone. And I started by adjusting the levels to make it more white and black and to take away the grey lines of the of the pencil. And then I used decided to use brightness and contrast first of all, as it's a little bit better to start off with. So I increased the brightness and contrast quite quite a lot. And then went back to adjusting the levels, bringing the whites in and the black in really far so that the feathers are jet black and the white paper is, is white with no grey marks in it at all. And then I made the image smaller because if you want to import it into the Silhouette Studio software it, sh it shouldn't really be as large as it is, it should be around 800 pixels in width. And then I saved it. Then I opened the image in the Silhouette Studio software. I've got the designer edition so um, yours might be a bit different to mine if you haven't got the designer edition. Then I went to the trace settings, selected my trace area And then I clicked off the high pass filter, clicked on the low pass filter, and then adjusted the threshold. The low pass filter tends to make a, more, a smoother trace uh, without so many jagged edges. That's how I use it. I'm not sure what it's actually for, but that's what I found it does very well. So once that's done, click trace, make a trace, and there you have your your feathers ready to adjust. We're going to adjust them by adjusting the points within the vector, the shape that we've made. And you do that by either double clicking or I'm making my lines black first of all. So if you double click them, you see the points that make up the actual shape. And you can adjust your image by clicking on each point and moving them. So I'm just doing that now. I'm making some of the curves a bit more curvy moving some of the points in and out depending on how I want it to look making this, the points smooth some of them are corner points which makes them less curvy so it's best to make them all smooth smooth points so you get a more rounded image and you can adjust them all by holding the shift button highlighting highlighting all the points just move that one out of the way first of all highlighting all the points and then clicking smooth and now all will be smooth now there won't be any more corner points and then we can adjust them so we're going to make this one a bit more pointed Make all the points smooth. There's a bit of a, a weird bit here which I'm going to adjust. And then it should be ready. So now you can see all of your feathers and they're all ready to cut now. You can adjust the size if you want some of them to be a bit smaller. They should all be roughly sort of half the size of each other but not perfectly. Some will be a bit bigger. 
and some will be similar sized. It's just your personal preference. And if you don't like them after you've cut them, you can you can adjust them afterwards and do another cut. So there you have it. So to make the wing base, take your original picture and if you can draw back in the lines of the of the first image we drew which hopefully you haven't erased all of it there should still be some faint marks on it and then we want to fill it in in black Oops, it's a white one. Put it all in. Oops. Ink there. And then once it's filled in, you can scan this one in. I'll use a paintbrush actually. See how that works. Oh, that's much better. So I'm just moving the ink around that's from the pen I'm using a brush because it's it moves a lot better with a with a paintbrush. I'm just dipping it in some water to help to help that along. I always find it nicer to use a brush and a pen. It feels more sort of like a fluid movement, especially for writing on paintings. I tend to use a brush instead of a pen. Okay, so that's done. And then you can scan this in. Wait for it to dry and then scan it in. And we'll make that a point in the software or we can draw it in. That's a point now, like that. And we'll cut it around here in the software. I'll show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, so I'll see you in a bit. So this is a wing that I actually created earlier. Rather than waiting for the other one to dry, I'm just going to reuse this one. And I need to change it because it's the wrong shape. First I'm going to cut it here. Just cut the tip off because we don't want that in our final um, wing. Because we want the feathers to come out here, not the base. And then I'm going to round off this edge because I don't need that bit. So firstly, I'm going to take out the colour that's in the middle. Just by going to the paint icon and... Ooh, Okay, removing the fill colour and then giving the line colour. Oh, that didn't work. Okay, so why didn't that work? I think maybe I need to trace it, that's why. Okay, so I thought that was a, a trace, it's not. So let me start again. So I'm going to trace it first of all using the trace settings. So first of all, put a boundary box around your image. 
click off the high pass filter, click on the low pass filter, adjust the threshold slightly and then adjust the low pass filter to get a smooth edge and then trace. And that's done and you can delete the original picture and now you have your wing base shape which we can now edit like that. So, but first of all I'm going to cut off the tip by using the pen, the knife tool and making sure solid here is selected and I'm just going to take it straight down and cut it off. Remove that and delete it. Now in order to get rid of that I think I'm just going to rather than cutting it off I'm going to adjust the points so if I zoom in a bit I'm first of all I'm going to make them smooth it's all smooth points Oops. so you need to hold shift and then highlight it when you have the points selected click curve smooth and curve okay so now I don't know what happened there let me just go back a bit because that looks like it it was slightly changed. Okay, so we don't, not all of them can be curves because that needs to be a corner. So, what I can do is highlight just these at the bottom by pressing Shift and I'm just making those smooth curves. Okay, um, let me zoom in a bit more. So, click on the points. Now, I'm going to move them in them all in slightly so that it's a rounded shape. Well, I'm going to delete some actually as well. Some that I don't need. I don't need that one. Okay, so that's better. Let's delete that one. So make sure it's nice and smooth. Adjust your the handles. Move this out a bit. Make it rounder. Check it. So there's a bit of a bump here, so I need to change that. Smooth it out a bit. And that should be fine. That's good as a base. That will do. So now you can cut it. You can on your silhouette software. Okay.